from Xanadu. Xanadu was closer. But, I mean, he, he went to a couple dark houses before he stopped coming. <coughs> um, but there are rumors about NJQR, no? Might. Maybe. Let's not get hopes up. <coughs> That'd be so great if he went and beat Tacos, though. <laughs> Got his revenge. And then I beat him. So, protagonist, Daniel is a classic. However, Daniel going Yoshi is not the matchup we're familiar with here. It, it's a small chance, Jampro. Small chance. Don't freak out yet. Oh, Daniel, you have an up tilt there. All right, there we go. <coughs> Protagonist approaching kind of reckless. You, if you don't play safe against Yoshi, you're just going to die. Um, oh, <laughs> he got grabbed. His jab got grabbed. Oh, and he almost sneaks under and gets the ledge. He gets that back air in there. There we go. See, protagonist, um, I feel like he doesn't use a lot of downers, and that's something that Isaiah showed us is very effective in this matchup. I feel like that's one of the reasons that LD struggles so much against Yoshi. He's very reluctant to use down air. His approach generally consists of forward air and up air. Yo, Henry, what's going on, man? <coughs> Actually tuning into the, the weekly. That was the guy that basically ran the show at Beast. Total homie. Hopefully, hopefully you come drink with us next time. Like, tell you would have fit right in there. Anyways. Oh. Protag getting hit by that egg. Yeah. I was going to say, Daniel let the super armor run out and still put himself in a vulnerable situation. If you're going to fade back and let the armor run out, you got to be a little quicker to the ledge, space it a little better. But he's still got a stock lead here. Daniel's Yoshi has a pretty good track record against um, Baltimore Foxes, I think. Not LD, but for a tag. My, uh, my Fox, my Fox not that good. Pro Tag's always been pretty impressive, but he gets tournament nerves. He did really well at Genesis. And like, really his only other super standout performance was at Shots Fired when he beat Jimmy Joe, which was obviously one of the hypest moments. <laughs> He's capable of a lot. Daniel's Yoshi's pretty good. Do it. Wait, didn't you play him last week? Oh. Who did you lost? Oh, you lost to GT and then, uh, <laughs> that's right. It was the week before that you lost to, to Daniel and Protag. Yeah, not, that's what I'm saying, not Yoshi. Uh, so, Daniel and Yoshi taking that first game. Protagonist got a figure way around that. Kind of cough laughing. A little, uh, a little bit puzzled at this one. Oh, yeah, he gets caught in shield almost immediately. Oh, Zor? Yeah, I wonder what he's up to. I mean, Dane probably knows. Oh, see, the downers work, but... Struggling to get a punish off it. Oh, you can't hit him up to the platform. You caught his double jump. He's good armor from Daniel. He's going to get comboed to death there. Oh, he jumps right into that up smash. The Protag showed a little unusual lack of awareness after catching Daniel's double jump and not finding a way to push him off. Let's see if he can take the stock here. Our Daniel uh, opts for the neutral B in anticipation of an aerial. Probably would have been safer just hoping to grab the ledge. Because even if he had his armor broken, he probably could have pushed his way over there. A little smash DI, a little persistence determination.
Oh, and he gets sniped by the egg. Daniel got good aim. The eggs look impressive, but if you see it in hitbox mode, you'll see how big the eggs are. It's not very impressive. It's so easy to hit with. <laughs> what what is difficult to do is the stuff like uh, uh, where you use the egg. I think Prince did it to Marie Gloss, and you hit him back over to you for a nice smash. Yeah, <laughs> she is broken. Yes, he is. <laughs> Oh, oh, ah, oh, he pushed him off. Oh, he got him. Oh, he missed it again. Uh, Protag, uncharacteristic, miss, missing these uh, jab up smashes. There we go, jab forward smash. If at first don't, you don't succeed, try something else. Oh. Oh, Daniel tried to attack out of that. Very, very dangerous. He should have probably taken the hits and made it back on stage. He missed the up smash. Oh, the rolls. Roll against Yoshi. Not exactly a great idea. Wow, so he uh, threw a little back air and it hit that up smash before the hurtbox or the hitbox. Got him out of Wow, Daniel off for down B does not get punished whatsoever. Oh, good fade from Protag, kind of weaving away from that. Uh, he should have been ready for that DJC from Daniel. Gets forward smash, almost makes it over. Dab, up smash. High game. Protag, a little, uh, a little fist bump. Mini pop off. Uh, Daniel, uh, doing the CJC is a little too far away. Oh, he, it looked like he had him. Daniel might have touched the ground. Hard it though. Oh, pro tag fishing for those grabs. Forward air, up smash. Standard stuff for protagonists. Bread and butter. So he's got a little bit of a lead on this last stock. But there really aren't a lot of great leads, not only in this game, but especially against Yoshi. Yoshi's, Yoshi knows how to kill. And the four smash, good coverage against Fox. Especially coming from below. Fox come from above, much harder to edge guard. Ooh, the nair! Caught him out of his double jump. And yeah, if you see Daniel faded back again. Forward air pokes out so far. Uh, it's very easy to catch Yoshi when he fades back like that. I think the best option might have been a down B. Not sure. There is no best option, but that might have worked. So, game three, Daniel is not switching. He is confident in Yoshi. Protagonist with a very unsafe approach. This is very lucky that he didn't get more damage out of that. Ow. All right, so he hits with the laser and rushes him down. Got a little bit of a combo, but could not follow it up on the platform. Oh, that was almost a very good chase from Daniel. Good job to fall through, but know that he was going to go past him. Yeah, I was going to say, so there at the ledge when Daniel faded back, an S smash would have had the coverage needed to catch him out of his armor, but Daniel goes ahead and does gain the favor, or protagonist. Oh, makes it back. Oh, good combo starter for your protagonist, but not much you can do to end it there. He wrecked up some damage, but not much else. Oh, really unsafe recovery and landing from protagonist. Gives Daniel that socket. Daniel just walks off DJC Nair's right at the bottom blast zone and kills himself. I don't know what he was going for there. But nice combo from Daniel. Across the stage. And after that unfortunate SD, Daniel gets one nice combo to bring it back. Tie game. And parries the up smash. 
I don't think that would have killed anyways, but it... Yeah, uh, see, there's the forward smash. There, actually, it broke armor. Uh, earlier, it would have caught him out of the armor, but that time it broke it just with enough knockback to keep him from the ledge. <laughs> Sixty-nine percent on protagonist. Oh, I think. Oh, he had another jump. Good coverage with the egg, but protagonist gets another chance to up B. Daniel misses the nair. Protag makes it back on stage. The roll. Oh, Daniel misses those jabs. And Protag with a, another down air. Looks like Daniel caught it with an up smash. Protag unable to up B over Yoshi. Oh, nice combo from Protagonist. Just barely takes that stock. Oh, he's got him with the up air. A good tech chase from Protagonist. Starts up a nice combo. This could be it. And it does it. Wow, great combo to finish the set. And Protagonist brings it back after losing game one. Looked a little iffy.